In December, we experience the season in the church year of Advent and Christmas. It's a time, Advent means coming. It's a time in which we prepare our lives, ourselves, and it should be a preparation spiritually as well as all the decorations and all the gift giving that we do. And Christmas, of course, is Emmanuel, God with us, and we celebrate that birth and what it means to have God with us in our daily walk. So I invite each of you every day to do the following things, part of our preparation and our rejoicing in the gift that God has given us, that we start every day preparing for, with hope and joy for the assurance of God's promises, that we realize every day we can be the face of God to our families and friends. And I end every day thanking God for today's blessing and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home, October, November, December, 2020 edition. It's Tuesday, December 29th. Today's reading comes from John chapter 21, verses 20 through 25. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that's going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. So the rumor spread in the community that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Happy Tuesday, December 29th. I love playing follow the leader as a kid. Actually, I love being the leader. Then I got to determine the ground rules, course, and destination. As a follower, I had to defer to someone who might take on a difficult course or run too far ahead. As Christians, of course, we follow Jesus, but that's not always easy. Many of us would prefer to be the leader, at least of our own lives, to have control with little regard for the voice of Jesus calling us to follow. Or sometimes other voices distract, calling us to buy more, do more, be more, and leading us to selfish ambition and along dead-end paths. Yet Jesus' call to follow comes with the promise of his constant presence, including on difficult paths. We will not dash ahead so we can't see him. When other voices distract us, he calls us back. I am your guide, your companion, your wayfinder. My footprints are the love-shaped ones. Follow me. Lead me, God, in pathways that will make known your love, grace, and mercy. Amen.